Let's get a look at our forecast now. Lonnie Quinn has had a very busy day yeah. along with the rest of your weather team. So it's this line that you keep referring to that you could bet. mean a, a difference of like four to five Snow inches. Rain, right? It is right? the bane of my existence yeah. trying to figure these things out. Now, if the storms moved in a straight line like I'm drawing, it would be so much easier. But they don't. They wobble this way and that way. So they'll make a wobble towards shore and everybody goes, okay, it's moving west. But then it wobbles back out. So right now, we're watching it move further out. So Which our, means more our, snow. our thought is as you're getting closer to the event, which is tomorrow, it can't make too many more wobbles before we're in it. And that's why uh, we just feel a bit more confident right now that this is going to be a more widespread snow event for more people this time and also colder temperatures. That's what you look at right now. Some light rain and some snow in the area. 39 degrees. High temperature today was... You know, right where you should be, about 47. The average is 46. Morning low, 32. That should be your starting point. We may not even get to 32 degrees tomorrow. We may have a morning low of 33, an afternoon high of 36. You do not have to have 32 degrees to have snow accumulate, okay? Not when your 700 millibar readings are so ice cold, way up high in the atmosphere. You can still support snow at 36 degrees on the ground. It's going to be a wet, heavy snow. You can't support it when it's 39 or 40. That's why I think you're going to find that rain and mixing line, you know, in portions of our area. But here's how we see things right now. Um, the two low, system, low pressure systems will work in conjunction with one another. Make no mistake about it, this low around Raleigh, that's when that kicks offshore and becomes our nor'easter. But this low makes it a prolonged event, right? I mean, look, it's got all of that to add to it. Let me, I want to give you an interesting perspective on this. And we can zoom in tight. Uh, now, tilt it. Let's tilt that if you, if you could. Can you tilt that a little bit? That's perfect, perfect. Okay. I do this when I'm, I'm back in the office because it gives me a better, it may, it's easier for me to see exactly the flow and how things are moving. So I'll trace it with my hands. You can see the progression of everything's moving just like this. Now, I'm watching. Okay, and this is, keep in mind, this is a bit of a, a, of a, a guesstimate I'm giving you, but it's how I operate. Y you see this little bloom here of snow. Right now, this is the rain snow line that's developing. If I extrapolate on where that's going to move, this now, okay, in my forecast is setting up what I believe to be the rain snow line, okay? Putting an air mass on one side of it, on the right-hand side of that line, with primarily rain and some snow mixed in, whereas if you're on the left-hand side of it, it's more of a snow event. This line earlier today, it was, remember it was cutting right through the boroughs of the city? It's off to the east now. Let me talk about these models now that have come in with the new model, model numbers. They're now calling for eight inches in New York City with the NAM, 11.9 Monticello, Sussex, 12, uh, you know, over a foot north and west. But notice, there's that line I'm talking about, 7.2 Toms River, then it cuts over to Islip now. Islip about 6 inches, 5.8, and then, come on, 0.5 for Montauk. I want to quickly show you the euro. Don't want to spend too much time on it because the new run doesn't come out until 2 o'clock in the morning, but you can just see uh, 6.1 in New York City and, and 10 up around Monticello. These numbers are going to go up because they have bought in to the colder solution. I've seen some other depictions on some of their other products that they, they put out. So we'll, we'll wait for that 2 a.m. number, and, and, and I'll have it for you later. The RPM, similar, 9.8 in the city, a 16.3. Monroe, also Sussex, a similar number. And again, that same line, Tom's River over towards Islip, about three and a half inches, and nothing for Montauk. So uh, that's the way we see it, guys. Uh, widespread 6 to 10 around the city and 10 to 15 north, and lower numbers as you go east and south. As far as those winds, I just want to show you what they're going to max out at. New York City has a gust forecast to be around 43, about 4 p.m., and Montauk, a 58 mile per hour gust. So not as strong as Friday's winds, but those are winds, people. This is a nor'easter. Uh, let's take it seriously. And then you get to Thursday, it's 43. The storm is gone, 42 Friday. As you push into next week, say Tuesday, you're back to about 51 degrees. And we are starting to look at another storm at that point in time. But if that holds true, if it would be rain at 51.